All right, moving on swiftly, please. Look at Netflix. That stock is way down today. It's got a little bog in the bottom of the screen. It's down 46 points as we speak, $46. Okay, they didn't have a great earnings report, but one of the reasons why they're down is they got competition. Joining us now is Jim Anderson. He's a tech guy. His company organizes other companies to get them on social media efficiently and promptly. All right, Jim, if, uh, if they've got competition, what is the competition? Well, the competition is everybody. I mean, tech companies. I mean, we, we know about Hulu. We know about Amazon. But Facebook is investing a billion dollars in the watch tab. You've got Google. You've got Apple. So, you know, it's a golden age for video. Everybody's creating video. Well, but who's going to watch it all? But at one, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. At one stage, Netflix had the clear run. They were the king of streaming. They were. But now yeah. everybody else is coming on stream. But I notice you didn't mention any small companies. I don't think small companies can get into the streaming business. It is a scale game. I think internationally, Netflix is an international company and, and they've specifically commented you know in France and other countries they do have some local competitors and obviously there are cultural differences oh. audience preference differences but it is a scale game but there's also a negative that I, it's interesting I heard some of your previous guests being very bullish nobody's talking about churn right if, if you've got 124 million uh, 124 million customers you've got a leaky bucket problem right if they have 10 percent churn a quarter that's 12 million customers that are leaving that they have to replace so that's where your scale in a subscription business really starts to be a challenge is you lose 10% of your customers, you've got to get 12 million customers just to replace the ones who left. So in some ways, it's not surprising that their growth rate is slowing. And, and I think that's what everybody's really concerned yeah, about. Yeah, look, I know you're not a stock analyst, but you're thinking that maybe the business model of Netflix is reaching a peak, a peak it's kind of plateauing. With well, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's clearly what people are worried about, right? Saturation okay. is the word they use. And, and I'm, well, what, What's this about you can't watch it all? I mean, right. yeah. Well, well okay, I mean, it's a, it's a ratings game, right? They measure it differently because they're a subscription. But you know a little bit about good ratings, right? You, I do. <laughs> you, do. you know a lot about <laughs> well, good you ratings. Say that. <laughs> uh, and so ultimately, I have 24 hours in a day to watch whatever television, my phone, my iPad, you know, et cetera. And so who's going to watch all this video? And again, Netflix has amazing video, but so does HBO. So do you. Look, so where but, do you get look, the attention? My problem is that Netflix gives the, shows this stuff to me. I want to go to Netflix and say, show me this. I want to be in control of what I watch. And I, I suspect that some of the streaming companies don't do that for me any longer. They're waiting for me to just look at what they're giving me. You know well, what I mean? Well, we're back on the topic of algorithms. You and I have talked about that before. The big tech companies, they use their artificial intelligence and they predict what you want to watch. And they're actually pretty good at it. And Netflix is pretty good at it, too. So if you like yeah. this, you may like that. And, and that's sort of the primitive way of doing it. The better part yeah. is to not even ask you. you. They just sort of figure out what you like and they give you more of it. Now, you told me, I think, last time you were on the show, that they can tailor programming specific to individuals yeah. that can tailor it to an entire country, to an entire culture. They can do that? Your yes. Your list of recommendations is going to be different than my list of recommendations. Right. So you, you think, you know, oh, I'm just looking at Netflix. Everybody must be seeing the same thing. And it's not even just done by country. It's done by individual. You and I could be sitting in the same room on the same Wi-Fi network, logged into our own Netflix accounts. I see something completely different than you see. That is fascinating. Got it. Uh, Jim Anderson, thanks for joining us. We Thank appreciate you. It. Thank you.